What's up, everybody? We're going to try to get into a new game. We're going to delete this. And we're going to skip the tutorial. We're going to get in. In 2108, humanity began colonizing the stars. Their reach would eventually span a vast region of space known as the Inner Sphere. During its golden age, under the governance of the Star League, the Inner Sphere experienced unprecedented peace, prosperity, and technological advancement. But with a great rise comes a great fall. Beset by greed and mistrust, humanity splintered. The Star League crumpled. Technological advancement slowly. The great houses, each vying for supremacy, turned on one another, engaging in a series of conflicts known as the Succession Wars. Amidst this chaos, mercenaries became the proxy forces for the great houses. Numerous battlefields sprung up across the inner sphere, dominated by hulking war machines known as Battle Max. The year is now 3015, and these steam behemoths have become the tools of the mercenaries' trade. It's a lucrative time, yet one beset the talents of all kind. Only the most skilled and brave among them will rise to become legend. I hope they don't fuck with me because of the music. I really hate that. You're just trying to, you know, do a little video showing, you know, showing what it's about. And then they give you a copyright because the music that they play. Goodness gracious. Come on. All right. <laughs> Commander, sorry to wake you, but our sit rep has changed. Head to the bridge as soon as possible. Sorry, just trying to make it to where everybody can hear. Sometimes, uh, <laughs> it gets a little loud. Commando, good to see you all. We haven't really had a chance to speak since your father was killed. I'm not much for sentimentality, but I worked with your father for a long time. I don't know. Yeah, this is on board. board. Another and he's not a I said you can find all this out if you play. Copy that. All right, we got to go speak to Fathead. I mean, Fahad. Whatever. He has like a, uh, huh. Huh. <laughs> it's like an Arab name, but look at his, <laughs> this is his accent. I might. Figured you want I might. Anyway. Anyway. Hey, Fahad. Yeah. Hey, Fahad. Hey, Fahad. Hey, Fahad. Hey, Fahad. All right. This explains, uh, how to repair everything. I'll show you that. What we're going to do is we're going to go to this loadout. Press select, and it'll give you this menu. This menu is a lot better. Um, there are times when you can just uh, repair something, and it'll tell you to swap it out. Um, you don't really want to do that. Unless, of course, you have... Um, unless, of course, you already have something in your inventory, and it's just that far gone, it'll already be for free. And so you can do it that way. You can act, it'll, it'll allow you to um, save money in some situations. This, this isn't the situation. It's just a heads up on what could happen. So we push repair all, start work, go into the queue. And we have to go speak to what's your tits. It's weird in the story, um, in the very beginning, 
uh, this guy that you're playing and his father go to her city to go collect payment. Okay. They start being attacked and they're like, oh, let's just go get the money and run. Right. And so now she's working with them. You know what I'm saying? Like they were totally going to leave them there to die. <laughs> I've received a transmission from Get the money and run. That's her dad. I know you can use some uh, It's just kind of like Warhammer. There are no good guys. So you should really just get over that. <laughs> Let's see. Timeline. Next payment is due. You can't really do anything with that. I mean, you can, but there, I'll show you that later. This is telling you about your contract, your negotiation. Before you accept a mission, you are given the opportunity to negotiate the contract. You begin every contract with a base number of negotiation points based on the, on the reputation of your mercenary company. The base payout is fixed is a fixed amount. The contract will pay regardless of if you succeed. The C bill payout, which cannot be negotiated, is an additional amount paid if you complete your contract objectives. The sum of base points and C builds payout is added together in the total potential payout below. Sal uh, salvage shares are used after finishing a contract to claim mech weapon or equipment salvage from the battlefield. The more valuable the salvage, the more shares it will cost. Damage coverage is insurance that only pays out to cover the, the repair costs of damage suffered during the particular contract. <laughs> So right now we just have one, so I want the max money. Now we have this. What I want to do is adjust. Um, you'll be able to see why. Let's go to select menu. We're going to take this off, take this off. Take this off, take this off. Okay, now you have two. So that's it's pretty good. You're going to go to this, swap part. You have them in your inventory. You have seven extra in your inventory. Um, if you can see right here, the tonnage, 80 and 30. When you put that on, it gives you 29. You put this on, it gives you the full 30. Now, what? Oh, shit. Did I really just? Oh, I did. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I haven't done this in a while. Go up here, swap. And just put it in. Start work. This is where your timeline comes in. Go to timeline. It says next payment due. Javelin is, is refit. And... Or javelin reflit. I can't even. Now, go to the mission. And let's ready up. You can also adjust your armor, which is very important. Um, some of these mechs, you want more armor in the front and not so much in the back if they're fast. And you can keep everybody from getting behind you. If you ever wanted to learn how to <clears throat> turn on a mech, <laughs> look down and watch what he's doing. See what he's doing to turn it on. All right, you can be in the cockpit or you can have this view. How you change it is down on the D-pad, camera, cockpit. And you go back to drone. Uh, abilities and advanced and all that. Um, we'll get into that later. Not really. Push, jump, and hold it. Your little jets will go off. The only main reason why I have this. Gosh, she keeps talking when I'm talking. If that's the case, it means they must have a generator close by. 
find and destroy that generator before assaulting the plant, and you'll have a much easier time of it. Got it. Thanks. Heads up, Commander. I'm detecting enemy units up ahead. Could be a radar patrol. Pressing right stick, focuses, or zooms. Because I have more heat sinks, my lasers recharge a lot sooner. This has to do with um, heat overheating and uh, recharging. It's really kind of what it, what it has to do with. Try not to run into any of these buildings and stuff. It does kind of harm me a little bit, but not a lot. And you can't just punch things to where they just blow up. Uh, little things like this is why you want the jump jets. Use your jump jets to get over it. Your jump jets. And also, if you're coming down off of some, something, and it's a little, uh, it's a little bit high, press X for brakes. Um, you will continue to move on your own like that. That's why I have it set like this, so he'll keep running or keep walking, whatever you want to say. Um, they have it to where it won't move unless you push forward. I have it to where I, I'm, I'm not on the sticks right now and it's still going forward. <coughs> to stop, like I said, press X. He'll start slowing down. He'll stop. You can make him go just a little bit up. You know, this fast if you want. Or you can make them go all the way. It's up to you what, okay. what you think it calls for. This kind of helps you get get around a little easier, which is why I like the jump jets, and that's the only reason. Hold the X. Could be located. Look there first. Roger that. Good work. Marks for pickup. Commander. All right, now we gotta destroy these. Running. Destroy them if you can. There's no time limit on this, so just I like to get these guys because or this guy because he likes shooting me from behind. Um, they do have a maximum range on their weapons as well. There we go. Uh, there is damage. Um, uh, destructive damage in this game. I actually kind of like it. It's very simple. It's not too um, complicated or involved, really. But it's it's enough for what it is, you know. Wow, I'm kind of in the orange right now. That's insane. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going this way just to kind of show you another example of why you want these jump, jump jets or even just a little bit of them you can get into places like this and then he won't hurt your legs when you fall or when you jump from a distance like that and it does come in handy Commander, approach the hidden object to pick it up. <coughs> Good work, Commander. That's the last of their power <coughs> generators. 
<laughs> it looked like one of the enemies was trying to shoot me, and he shot his own uh, generator. <laughs> it's always a plus when that happens. Okay, got it. Okay, that's enough of that. Die, you son of a bitch. Oh, that was not good. Oh, let's just smash them. Smash. Um, this guy, it might seem like he's moving kind of slow. He's actually not. He's moving pretty fast for the mechs. Another thing about this, uh, you can be running this way and then jump, get out of their target a little bit and then completely change direction like that. It actually comes in pretty handy. Oh, that's another thing. The X is your laser. The uh, diamond with a aimer inside of it. It's usually like your missiles and stuff like that. <coughs> <clears throat> the reason why they have it like that is because um, certain weapons you have to have a targeting system for it. We gotta break this up a little bit. Wow, that kind of took a lot to kill him. See, I really think, uh, I'm not sure, but I really do think that um, just walking through stuff will start to hurt your legs. Like, you see how they're red. Not really sure about it, but I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. Oh my god, they're really ganging up on me right now. There's usually not that many coming at me right at this point. Holy crap. I don't know if you see my left arm is black and it's uh, how it looks on the, uh, the javelin um, damage meter or whatever that is, damage gauge. <clears throat> oh my god, sorry. I have this constant feeling of coughing in my throat. It's kind of getting on my nerves a little bit. Okay, you see those flamethrowers? Those those suck really bad. Like I said, it's about recharging and um, not overheating. If you overheat, then you're screwed. Alright, this is just a little first one. It's relatively easy. Going to the extraction point. We got quite a bit of damage. But uh, I'm also just trying to run through this as fast as possible. All right, that's the first one. We're going to get into the next one. Uh, this next one might be a little longer. We were able to recover the materials we needed from that rare cache. Has already sorted the repairs to the Leopard and Centurion. You've made him a very happy man, though I doubt he'll admit it. They never do. All right, let's get into it again. <laughs> 